everyone. My name is Tian. I'm in reading class. Today I tell you about read the story The Shell Selfish Kodak. Deep in the frozen in the river lived a large crocodile. He was is a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink and bath in the river. He thought it was his river. Every day he shouted to the creature in the forest. Stay away from my river. It's my river. If you come in my river, I eat you off. So where is no fish, no crop, no fish, no table, no frogs, no crop, no crayfish. fish in the river all were up full of the selfish crocodile the forest creature keep away from the river as well whenever they are they were thirsty they went to meal and drink in the other rivers and streams Every day, the crocodile lay on his big, big back in the sun, picking his sharp teeth with the stick. Run! But early one morning, the forest got angry king by a loud running sound. Something was in table pants. The creature saw that is what an animal caught by the crocodile. Run! But as the sun come out brightly, they saw it was the crocodile who was in pain. He was lying on his big back, holding on his his swollen drums and he was crying after the crocodile came closer but not too close something of the creature felt sorry is a crocodile what's the matter with him asked a deer i don't know said the creature maybe he go into deer she puts the bird. It's what happened. It's be south to go the river. When in the wild pig. <coughs> the animals saw above his. They hung from branches. They hung from winds. They push in the air. And they soak. They as they watch the great big crocodile is in pain. No animal try to help. Suddenly, the little mouse upon Sydney the all he ran along to the crocodile store. They on his tummy the other creature stares. Look at the mouse! Says the monkey. He is very black or mad. He is going to be pain for sure, said Iwana. The mouse keeps along the crocodile's big neck and into his open mouth. There was a horse in the surface. The mouse got hold of something and pulled and pulled and pulled. 
they then he put a in hot his shoulder and walk out of the crocodile's mouth. There is one a large sheep from the astonished creature. The crocodile sat up and said, "I don't feel any more the pain. It's quite a go." Then he saw the mouth walking down its tummy, crying an animal. Cock died too on his shoulder. To pass too. What giving to do? The teacher. Anyway, the mouse turning a long face, now smiling. Cock died. Do you want a speak? Oh no 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 no! Get this off it. And why do you wait on that? Come back! I will have a princess of you. The mouse went and brought and back to under the tree. Then, when he thirsty, the crocodile has nine jumpsy, not waiting for him. As crocodile watching the mouse eating nuts, he said to him, "You were very clever getting rest on my Tuesday and came to am so wonderful. But what shall I do my two egg come back? Don't worry, I help you take two cake of the your tea." Answer the mouse nipping. Soon the crocodile and the mouse were the best of friends. And one day the crocodile said, "Ah, the animals, an event. Please come to drink and bath in the river. I want help you. The river belong to us. Ah." He said, "The creatures went went always to drink and bathe in the river. Any more? I thought the crocodile was something snappy. The went to love him, and so the river river was full of fish on the table and crab and crayfish." The 